This clip is about scale factor and this is really really useful when dealing with things such as drawings or indeed models or maps. Now scale factor is often expressed as a ratio. Maps for example will often have the ratios of say 1 to 50,000 or 1 to 25,000. This map here is a 1 to 25,000 scale. But what does that actually mean? Well, in the case of this map, which is 1 to 25,000, if I take any measurement on here, for instance, 1 centimetre, well, in real life, that would represent 25,000 centimetres. Just as if I measured 1 metre on this map, that would represent 25,000 metres in real life. Models will often express their scale factor as a ratio. In this example, this is 1 to 72. So every 1 millimetre on the model will be 72 millimetres in real life, just as every metre on the model will be 72 metres in real life. Sometimes you may be given a scale factor just as a single number. This, for example, a scale factor of 2. But what does that mean? So let's apply this theory to some scale drawings and let's take this simple shape here and apply a scale factor of 2 to this shape. What actually happens here? We need to remember that the scale factor is applied to all the dimensions of the original to give us our enlarged shape. Just to check this, here we can see this shape here has a height of 6 squares. Scale factor of 2 would give me an enlarged shape having a height of 12 squares. Taking another dimension, let's look at the gap between these two stems here of two squares. Scale factor of two, the gap therefore should be four squares here, which it is. What happens then if we consider this as our original shape and this is our scale drawing? Well, in fact, it would no longer be a scale factor of two, but this shape has been reduced by half. So in fact, the scale factor in this case, from this shape to this one, is one half. Just as a final note to finish with then, questions I've often seen, is you'll be given an original shape and they will ask you to enlarge it by a scale factor of two, but to make it a little bit more tricky, they'll apply it to a particular dimension. So for example, let's just do the width only on this shape. What will that end up looking like? Well, here we can see that the height remains the same, our original six squares, but the width indeed has been doubled. I hope that helps.